And here we go into game number four between Eddie and MBL. And Eddie this time as the Teutons, MBL with Celts. Uh, interesting matchup because I think Eddie is really strong with Teutons. So uh, Monksif and uh, strong cavalry. So he should be able to take map control in Castlage if he wants to. On the other hand, if he's uh, not able to beat MBL in early, uh, until early Imperial Age, and MBL is getting the almighty Celt Siege out and maybe the Vote Raiders, then AD might be in trouble because then the Celts is just a very, very strong civilization, just a powerhouse. Let's see what's going to happen in this game. Uh, I'm going to start with Eddie's map here. Main stone forward, boar inside, second stone outside, one boar outside here, keep an eye on that. Uh, third gold very far away, a relic close to this gold, and those sheep also very far away actually, but Eddie find them, uh, found them. Then we have an extra gold here. Mm, we have the main gold pretty safe in the back, that's good for Eddie. We've got a second gold safe in the back, even safer. An extra stone here, mm, three, four deer inside, two sheep are there already. So Eddie's uh, map actually looking okay, -ish, I guess. Could boom behind this if you wanted to, but you don't want to boom against a Kels player, I guess. Mm, Kels with, mm, not sure, stronger economy. I mean, the wood gathering bonus is good, but Teuton's got a cheaper farm, so when it comes to, to booming, I'm not really sure uh, which civilization is better here. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe someone found out uh, or discussed that already. Uh, what's the best civilization to boom here? Which one is better? Mm, doesn't really matter at this point. MBL, let's see. Uh, second board coming in. I guess we're both inside. Uh, no back pace for MBL. That's not too nice. But Ford, you're inside. That's, that's good. Uh, one relic inside. Second gold inside. Mainstone. Uh, not too far forward, actually. One relic really close to space. Mm, the second stone, thankfully, not blocking this gate. Only half. Main goal also forward, uh, kind of forward on the side, but uh, it's okay-ish, I guess. Uh, not not really too many resources in the back, so MBL needs to make sure that he's not losing the, the front of the space here. Third goal very far outside as well. And yeah, I don't know how uh, MBL is going to play this. We might see the Celts go aggressive. It's really unlikely. Oh, looks like MBL lost a villager here. Yep, one death. And Eddie, uh, one more population. Four farms coming up for MBL already. He is going for the deer now, uh, sending three villages on gold and probably clicking up to Feudal Age. Uh, there we go, both players actually clicking up almost the same time. Eddie with the one more villager because MBL lost one. There's the first deer almost under the TC, very nice lure. And MBL is going to get them in. Let's see, Eddie, he did have deer, but he spilled a mill again. Interesting to see. I'm not sure why. Uh, usually Eddie is luring his deer towards the TC. And in this case, not. Barracks coming up for him. And he's got two villagers on gold, so it doesn't look like a, a monk rush for me. Maybe just go and secure some relics and after that boom a little bit. But uh, we have yet to determine what's going to happen. We see two more relics on the on MBL side of the base. Uh, so we've got we've got relics. Let's count. We've got, we've got one inside. Can't talk right now. One inside for MBL. One really close. Two on uh, MBL side. A little bit in the neutral zone. And one a little bit closer to to Eddie. The two extra golds are here on the bottom of the uh, of the map. And we've seen the extra stone inside Eddie's base. Eddie now sending six villagers on gold. This tree is a little bit annoying. Can't, uh, can't even chop it and uh, palisade it uh, because it looks like a forest tree to me. Um, what do we have? Castle Age, almost the same time, three seconds difference. Sending one villager forward. Spearman is out. And MBL actually doing the same thing. Barracks at least. Uh, I guess he's got a Spearman or two inside, going for number three. Is Eddie going for stables? Or is he staying with a Spearman as well? It looks like Spears. No stables, instead Siege Workshop and Monastery coming up. First fight, scouts going in, but wow, four spearmen here attacking. Siege Workshop also coming up for MBL, and we're gonna see a fight for the relics or for early Castle Age uh, map control here. Mm, question is, any TCs? I think one for MBL. Maybe not the perfect uh, position because the mill is in the way, but uh, can get a lot of wood from that. And uh, let's check for AD. 200 stones, so no extra TCs for now. Of course, monastery and uh, siege workshop mangonel costs a lot of wood here. 
Mm, five Spearman, four MBL, should be fine with that. We'll be able to take the scout down really fast. Uh, one Spearman being converted. Now we have a Feudal Age army fight here in early Castle Age. MBL doing the better job on the Manganels. Eddie losing one here and even using the Blitzers to repair the Manganel. Uh, Spearman fight still going on. Eddie in the meantime is taking a relic. And we have now one for one in total because Eddie managed to dodge the shot this time. Mm, Spearmen, which are winning. I'm not sure actually. It's three against three for now. Uh, but Eddie got more and MBL actually revolving. That's a pretty smart thing to do. Eddie, oh, MBL did not watch his Manganel. Eddie getting a second one for free. Good for him. And now double monastery, second coming up here. Uh, going really aggressive. Eddie does not do any more TCs for now. MBL uh, revolts, so he needs to uh, send a villager to take stone here. Wants to get a third TC up, probably, I guess, on the main gold. Would be a very, very nice place. MBL did not take two of his sheep, he didn't find them, wow that's huge, maybe he thought Eddie stole them. Mm, now the Manganel is up, do we see Eddie losing a Manganel, I guess so, yeah, that's one going down, and uh, re-walling again, <laughs> no don't tell me, yeah he took, he took 13 stone, that's good, so he can get a TC if he wants to, Redemption Sanctuary coming in for Eddie, uh, still a 1 TC, question is, is Eddie gonna go up to Impure Age anytime soon? Uh, it's got a lot of villages on gold, that's a dozen, that's 12 villages or, um, on gold, plus 3, 15. Uh, not too many farms, of course he can't really afford it. Might buy his way up to Imperial Age if he really wants to. Monastery number 3. Mm, don't think Imperial Age is uh, coming in too fast. And, ooh, question is, can MBL wall this? I don't think so. Uh, yep, yeah, wall is up, but only 1 in 32 HP. Might lose the villager here. Can Eddie get a conversion? No, not happening. Two mangonels are inside MBL's base here. Uh, and Eddie yet needs to go through the walls. Uh, wants to go in two idle villagers. Just can't really do anything right now. And we do see a TC on the stone. Not on the gold, but on the stone. Looks like MBL is preferring to get a castle up. Maybe in defensive position. Uh, yeah, TC now coming up here. Is he on stone somewhere? He must be, actually. Where is the second stone? I forgot about it. And it's right here. Uh, I think he bought stone. Because uh, 93, that means he probably lost. Uh, had to build another wall. Ooh, and Eddie getting in with the monk here. How did he do this? Probably th through that wall. And converting a Manganel. Just killing three, four villagers. The rest of uh, two other villagers are going outside. Manganel inside M MBL space. That's not what you want to have. This monk might go down. But really, really slow. 45 HP. And MBL not losing the Manganel. Eddie is losing the converted one. That's all right. Uh, uh, two villages being converted, uh, two monks now inside. Mm, this wall is, is open and the barracks even converted. MBL is in trouble. Eddie looking strong, wants to win this in Castle Age. I think that's a smart thing to do here. The TC, of course, is up and uh, MBL now can take stone. Maybe should have gone one tile more away uh, to get better, um, how do you call it, better like saturation, but. I don't know how it's called, it's something like that. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, destroying the walls, getting a mining camp, that's also gonna do the trick. Mm, Eddie losing a manganel and MBL destroying his own manganel before it gets, gets converted. Uh, and that was a siege workshop, but I think MBL also destroyed this one. Uh, Villager wise, MBL on 46, Eddie on 44, that's not really a big difference, but Eddie 500 points score lead. Siege workshop now up again for MBL, but Eddie looking a lot stronger at this point. MBL. Not even 200 stone, wants to get a castle up probably, but could take quite some time here. Question is how is Eddie gonna do damage now? Uh, I think he should move forward, maybe get more conversions with the houses. And uh, where is MBL going? He's actually going on the right hand side, probably wants to take extra gold now. He's almost got enough wood for a, another TC. Uh, just waiting a little bit and there we go, TC coming up on the wood line in gold. While Eddie now uh, going on the bottom side here, converting more houses. Maybe he's gonna try and get the insta convert trick again, could do it. But he's preferring to convert a house here, uh, maybe clear the battlefield. Three villagers trying to get a manganel down, but one villager will be converted for sure. There we go, Eddie sending more monks to get the others as well. That's two villagers converted. Uh, the converted turret villagers, of course, repairing the manganel. MBL is not taking a good fight here. Uh, has to go back, but it's lost like three, four, five villagers already, I guess. And two manganels not there for Eddie. That means the TC is in trouble. MBL doing hand card, but I'm not sure if that's the right decision here. And Eddie, a very, very commanding uh, position, good score lead. Mm, MBL taking gold on the side, 
I think Eddie can probably, you know, he might be able to spot it. He can see this tree, cannot see the farms actually, but uh, even then it's not really the important thing. Mm, important thing is that uh, Eddie is taking down MBL space here. Uh, Monk is not being healed right now, villager fight. And just before uh, being killed, the market is converted. Uh, actually, the market is a very, very valuable uh, building in this at this point in the game. But MBL really, really looking looking bad at this point. I'm not sure what he can do. He's got uh, 55 villagers, but no military units. And Eddie got 30, 63 villagers and 28 military units already. And I think this Mangana was converted too. Uh, and TC is uh, under attack. In the house, yes, yeah, Spearman, the hero Spearman taking an, an unbuilt finished house down and now defending the Manganel. Manganel will go down of course. Mm, Eddie taking stone here. <laughs> it's funny to see. And on the right hand side converting house the market giving him a little bit of a yeah I don't know line of sight and map control I guess which is really valuable at this point. Mm, what else do we see? Embiel trying to defend still. Eddie doing wheelbarrow now. Does he have more TCs? Yeah, one, two, three TCs uh, inside Eddie's base. So he is booming a little bit. I think he should be able to go up to Imperial Ridge relatively soon if he actually wants to. Uh, maybe he's just preferring to, to go more Siege and uh, just finish this in Castle Age. It's an option for him, I guess. Uh, this Spearman does not know what to do, but now uh, getting a new command. It is just converting a lot of villagers. He's got 81 now, uh, taking gold with, I guess, most of those villagers belong to MBL at the start. Uh, and yeah, that's 40 HP against 25, those must be the converted ones. Uh, while Eddie's villager only should have 25 HP. Let's check, there we go. And so he's got villagers with loom, uh, but it's not shown as loom here. There we go. Bar now stables now coming up for, for Eddie. Interesting. Wants to finish this in Castle Age, I guess. Uh, it's not going to uh, Imperial Age soon or too soon. MBL now sending more villagers to the side. Question is, can Eddie see this? He theoretically can, can spot this, but he's got so much control of MBL's map. I'm not sure if he uh, did actually see the villagers escape here. And he still hasn't figured out that TCs are on the side, I guess. Uh, what is Eddie going to do? Do we see night production now? Uh, needs more houses, getting a siege workshop, building uh, houses as well. And he's going for knights. He wants to finish this. Question is, how long will it take him? I'm gonna go try and go a little bit faster, maybe. Mm, taking a lot of gold here. And Eddie actually could click up to Imperial Age now. Did he cancel the knights? No, he's producing them. But I think he's gonna go to Imperial Age any second. Uh, Sound food, there we go. And clicking up. So Eddie will be in Imperial Age. MBL doing both and heavy plow. Still only on 77 villages against 92. It's okay ish, I guess. But Eddie is gonna bring in the, ca the knights, maybe ch Cavalier later on. And the rest of MBL's base is pretty much unprotected. Uh, two barracks, okay, but what can you do? Doing spearmen? Yeah, of course. Doesn't really help you. Uh, also, MBL has to repair this uh, TC, which is costing a lot of wood. One Manganel hitting this TC. Okay, now the mining camp. A spearman against wolf, but the spearman just barely survived. Strong spearman, a hero unit uh, patrolling here. Hopefully, the next wolves won't kill it. Um, spearman on the TC, that's actually pretty funny to see. Two mangonels. Eddie's not producing any knights apparently. Um, now he started again. Uh, Manganel coming in for Eddie as well. He still did not figure out that uh, MBL moved on to the right hand side. Uh, okay, 40 more population for Eddie. That's a really big difference here. And resources looking strong while MBL now very close to clicking up to Imperial Age. Under a lot of trouble, he's trying to defend this uh, the best he can. But now Eddie up to him, and I think this is actually a good point to resign because you know, what is going to happen? Eddie is going to go illumination block printing first. I think Cavalier uh, should come in, and uh, maybe some from either Capram or Onager would be very nice. Mm, but uh, it's nothing that Eddie really needs. Uh, he's preferring the monks. So that's how we how we know Eddie is so strong with monks. And MBL now calling GG. He knows this is over. He knows it's even with that, with that little extra economy on the on the bottom side here. Uh, Eddie with a very strong push. I hope you enjoyed this game. Very nice one, in my opinion. Very nice monk push from the Teutons. And see ya in game number five. That I think the last one on the on the list already. Yep. Yeah, see ya there. GG.